In this video, I'm going to show you how to understand part 1 of the test paper. I'm using Clinic Session Practice Paper 2 as an example. Part 1 will be given to students two weeks before the test, but it won't be given to students again on the test day. But students will need to refer to the information in part 1 in order to do their test. Now, alright, let me go through this practice paper with you line by line. So first, Task. This is the situation to let you know which company you're working for and the business of your company. So you work in this company called Trust Gap Property Management. It is a property management company in Hong Kong. So you're asked, you're asked probably by your supervisor to complete a proposal on reducing the electricity charges for the property called Greenfield Gardens. Please read three, the first three sections of the proposal below to understand the situation. So, which three sections here? Introduction. Initial proposals. And investigation findings, which is a very, very important section. So during the assessment, you will not be allowed to reread these sessions. So these sessions mean part one. Instead, you will read the fourth session of the proposal. That is the investigation conclusions. So what does it mean by investigation conclusions? The last session of part one is called investigation findings. So after reading the investigation findings, you may want to know the conclusions and that's why part two in part two the first paragraph is called the investigation conclusions you will also read some handwritten notes uh, which your supervisor made you will then all use all the notes to finish writing the final two sections of a proposal so this is your part two recommend the proposal and conclusion so you will need to elaborate on the recommended option and explain why it is preferable. Your answer should demonstrate your ability to communicate your message with subtlety, tact, and sensitivity. Let's look at the first section called Introduction. First paragraph is called Purpose. The aim of this proposal is to recommend a feasible plan to reduce the electricity charges of the property Greenfield Gardens, managed by Trust Gap Property Management, so that the residents' concern regarding management fees could be minimized. The most important idea in the purpose in the purpose paragraph is to understand the aim of this proposal, the reason of why writing this proposal. So the reason for writing this proposal is to suggest to the management a plan so that electricity charges of the property Greenville Gardens can be reduced. So now let's move on to the second session called background. In this session, you should be able to find the problems, the details of the problems and the reason of the problems. So I highlight the main ideas in blue. Your company have your company has been managing Greenfield Gardens for over 10 years, almost 10 years. Since Q13, the, the, the management fee of the property has had an increase of about 5%. In addition to inflation and rises in staff salary, the increase in management fee has been mainly due to sharp increase in electricity consumption. Okay, now, it's very clear. The problem is, there, is an, there has been an increase of about 5% of the management fee. And why? And why? Because of the sharp increase in the electricity consumption. It has been particularly so in summers as the temperature remains high during daytime. It is expected that this will continue in the coming years. According to a survey conducted last month in the estate, estate means Greenfield Gardens. Most residents were not happy 
They express their concerns about the rises in management fee, and if 80% of them believe that the company, your company, is not good, is not doing good enough to, to reduce the electricity consumption, that's why their satisfaction with the company service dropped. So, when their satisfaction with the company service drops, this is the consequence. Your company is highly concerned about this issue because it not only negatively affects your business, the company business, this is also the result, and also damage your company image. So in this session, background, The problem is there has an there has been an increase of the management fee. The reason is there has been sharp increases in electricity consumption. As a result, the residents were not happy with the company's service, and this affects the company's business and also damage the company image. And due to these reasons, your supervisor has proposed three options. But at this stage, you don't know which option will be ultimately chosen by your supervisor. So let's look at these three initial proposals. Number one, to use solar panels, solar energy. Number two, to install motion sensors. And number three, to maintain indoor temperature at 25 degree, 25.5 degrees Celsius. So in investigation findings, you receive three big paragraphs. Number one, number two, and number three. Number one and number two and number three means proposal number one, initial proposal number one, initial proposal number two, and initial proposal number three. Their structures are also very similar. That is, to start with, there is a paragraph explaining, introducing the details of this initial proposal. Like, number one, using solar panels. So readers may not understand what it means by using solar panels. And that's why here, using one paragraph to explain to the reader how it works, the background information, and the details of this initial proposal. And after that, there will be another paragraph talking about the benefits and the concerns of this initial proposal. So for using solar panels, what does it mean by solar panels? Oh, solar energy system capture free sunlight and convert sunlight into usable power. And since similar projects have been implemented in other buildings, that's why your supervisor has done a case study. So after doing the case study, here are the results. The result shows that using solar panels could really help reduce electricity charges by 25%. So this is the first benefit. Second benefit, it would become the project would become a signature event. And that's why the property value of the uh, of Grid View Gardens would rise. This is the second, the second benefit. However, there are also some concerns. That is, solar energy may not be really stable during cloudy or rainy days, you know, during bad weather. So that's why only limited electricity cost reduction can be achieved. And also, the maintenance and the setup cost could be quite high. So these two are the concerns. Initial proposal number two, installing motion sensors. Once again, readers may not understand what it means by installing motion sensors. So that's why here is one paragraph to explain a little bit about motion sensors, how it works. So motion sensor is a device which detects moving objects, particular people. It is often integrated into a system which automatically performs a task in an area. Insulin motion sensors to activate lighting system in specific areas 
has been very popular in Hong Kong. So that's why a review was also done. So after doing the review, what are the results? The result shows that the cost of sensors, insulation and maintenance are quite low. So this is obviously the first benefit. Low cost of sensors, insulation and maintenance. And also electricity consumption could be reduced. Reduce significant electricity consumption. But there are also concerns. Concern number one is this may bring inconvenience to some residents. So why would it bring inconvenience to some residents? Because when the sensors may switch off the lights, if people using the room or the areas or areas do not move for a period of time. So if someone sit down reading newspaper a long time in the room, so the sensors may switch off the lights because the sensors could not detect any moving objects. So this would bring inconvenience to some residents. So that is the first concern. Another concern is the insulation could be quite noisy. Noisy insulation. The insulation of the sensor is quite noisy. So the last initial proposal, maintaining indoor temperature at 25.5 degrees Celsius. Again, the first several lines is to tell you the details of this initial proposal, followed by two benefits and two concerns. So setting the indoor temperature at 25.5 degrees Celsius will bring number one benefit is saving energy, saving electricity. Another advantage is it requires very little preparation for implementation. Yeah, of course, because you just set the air conditioner to 25.5 degrees Celsius. So that's why the preparation for this is very little. But the concern is residents may complain during hot weather because the temperature may not be really low to them. They, they prefer a lower temperature. So that's why they may, be, they may complain. And also some staff, especially those who perform physical work, may feel uncomfortable. So when they feel uncomfortable, their morale would be, will be affected. So here is the first concern. Residents may complain during hot weather. And number two, staff morale will be affected. So after watching this video, I hope you will have a better idea of how to understand part one. So to recap, introduction, the most important thing is to find out the aim. The aim is to tell you why the proposal is written, that is to recommend a plan, a solution, to solve a problem. What are the problems? These are the problems and the reasons. And these are the consequences of the problems. And due to these problems, three options were proposed. And in order to find out which one will be the best, the most suitable option, investigation has been done. And these are the results of the investigation. So the findings tell you for each initial proposal, there are two benefits and two concerns. So that's it for part one of the test paper. So in next video, I'll be talking about part two.